Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to the Mart one YouTube channel, and welcome to the third episode of My Summer Car. So, uh, if you will excuse the, um, cringe-ass intro that, yes, I was too lazy to put the actual meme dance in the intro, of course I was too lazy. Um, anyway, if you'll just excuse my weird intro for a moment, let's get back to the My Summer Car series. Okay, so to prove to you guys that, um, I did not cheat... Um, I don't even fucking think you can cheat by getting your original save back, um, but maybe there's a fucking cheat for that, uh, even if you have permadeath turned on. I don't know, but anyway, just in case there is, I changed the, uh, color of the car to this lovely, um, uh, like, milky, whitish yellow color. Not gonna lie, it really reminds me of my old rabbit's piss, but that's besides the point. Anyway, um, I actually, uh, I'm kinda glad I started the series over. And got reset because I had fucked up a little bit on this engine. So I did not realize that you have to put on the fuel strainer. As you can see, I put that on uh, right there. Um, or maybe that's the fuel pump. That well, you know what? Okay, sorry. That's the fuel pump. Uh, I didn't realize the fuel pump actually goes on the engine. Um, so that's one mistake I would have fucked up um, from the last time. And I think there were... Oh, yeah, that's right, the inspection cover. I had no idea that that goes over that part of the transmission. I mean, honestly, I really should have realized that, but I didn't. Um, oh, well. Uh, also, the battery is still charging right there. Also, one quick thing. I um, realized that, yes, you were right, VR dud, about um, the battery charger. It uh, shows that it's fully charged when it's at the left and that it's fully dead when it's at the right. I apologize for that. I was wrong. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So the goal for today, um, my first goal for today at least, is to go back into town and actually buy the shit I need from Timo's store. As you can see, it's pretty early in the day, so I should definitely get there in time. And then, after I go to Timo's store and get all the shit I need there, I'm going to stop off and get the other car. Now, if you don't know what the other car is, I talked about it a little bit. I flashed a picture of it on the screen. I'll go ahead and flash another one right now. Um, it's called the Rusco, Rusco, something like that. It's this old shitty-ass uh, three-door station wagon car that uh, spawns in this shed at this guy's house. Anyway, there's just a car there, and um, I really want to get it because it could be helpful. I think it overheats like five m minutes, but I thought, you know, what the hell, why not just take it? Um, so I thought, you know what, why not either try to get it into the trailer bed there or just tow it with the tractor? Um, I don't know if you can... Uh, hook a rope behind the trailer here i would guess you wouldn't be able to um so maybe i'll leave the trailer there actually that sounds like a bad idea doesn't it well you know what what i'm gonna actually do is um disconnect the trailer and i'll just load all the shit in the cab of the uh, tractor and we'll just tow that old car home all right well i got the trailer disconnected might not be able to tell but it is indeed disconnected um, I think I got everything I'm gonna need. I got beer on the road, so I don't have to worry about my thirst. And, um, oh, by the way, I should also mention, um, the reason why I have, um, 3,700, uh, marks instead of 300, or 3,000, sorry, is because, um, there's a, uh, gift that you get at the uncle's house. I'll go ahead and flash a picture of the little table there. You get a turbo badge for the car, which doesn't make sense right now, as it's not turbocharged. Um, you get a, uh, bottle of booze, and apparently you get 711 marks. Alright, now let's go into town, and no, I'm not gonna waste a ton of footage and time-lapse this. Although, I'm still gonna be wasting footage, as I'm still gonna record it, because, who knows, maybe the green car will crash into me. Cousin Pina, I think is his name. Which I think means fuck in English. Anyway, enough jibber-jabber, let's get to fucking town and buy some shit from Timo. Okay, well, I am finally in town. Woo! Uh, first thing to do is just to mail this, so I bought, um, I maybe, I didn't really want to record building the engine again, because of course I already recorded it, and the only two things I did differently were I added the, um, fuel pump just to the side of the engine, and, um, the inspection cover near the transmission where you could still see half the flywheel, so that wasn't really worth showing. I also, of course, took out my orders, um, and, uh, yeah, you know, so I ordered the tachometer, I ordered a, like, fuel ratio thing, because I know that helps in tuning the car, and you need the car to pass emissions, apparently, um, so it has to be running right, and I, of course, ordered the spanner set, so let's go ahead and mail this, there we go, and hello, Timo, hey to the dishes in the, or hey to the dishes to, in the dishes to the dishwasher, okay, sure, well, anyway, I need an alternator belt, let's get, 
I feel like I've heard we need two of those, so I'm just going to get two of those. I'm going to get some motor oil. Uh, I'm going to get some two-stroke fuel. Um, you know what? Okay, coolant as well. You know, I'm going to get two things of motor oil because the engine might uh, blow. Oil filter. Uh, no. What's this? Seat cover. I do want spark plugs. Let's take some of those. By the way, sorry if Timo's talking is really loud. Um, let's buy all the chips. Let's buy one thing of beer. Milk, not worth it. Um, we'll buy fuse package packages because I don't want our house to uh, get messed up. We're going to go ahead and buy a fire extinguisher. And cigarettes, unfortunately. So how much have I spent here? Oh god, 1600 marks. Okay. Well, anyway, I think that is it from Timo's. I'm just gonna make sense of some of this. Oh, and one other thing, I forgot to uh, take the fucking uh, fuel can for the car. But, I don't know, I'm probably gonna have to go into town again to get my to get my spanner set before the car's even built, so that's alright. Anyway, I'm gonna clear all of this shit out of Timo's store and uh, regroup by the tractor and see what we can do next. Okay, so as I'm sitting here enjoying a lovely cigarette, um, that's not so lovely. Guys, please don't smoke. It's terrible. It's disgusting. And it pollutes. So just don't smoke. Anyway, um, oh boy. So I got all the stuff. Unfortunately, to get the cigarettes out of the shopping bag, I had to take all the other shit out, which means I now have a pile of shit on the ground. <laughs> AKA shopping. So, yeah, I guess I'm gonna try to pile all of this stuff in the tractor. That's gonna be fun. And then, um, I guess we'll drive down to the, uh, Roscoe. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up all this crap. I'm also going to fill up the diesel can because at least I brought that. You can see it in the truck there. So, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and fill up that. And then I am going to, um, drive down to the Roscoe and I will see you at the Roscoe. Okay, well, it might be a tiny bit hard to drive. But I got all the crap in here. Um, the only thing I need really need to reach is the parking brake. And of course the throttle. And that's really it. Come on, baby. Alright, let's head to that Rusco. Well, this is great, isn't it? Well, this really sucks. So what happened was I went down this driveway because I didn't exactly remember which one the Rusco was on. And I just wanted to see if this is the one that it was on. And this one is obviously not. That is way close to town. And I tried to turn around and you see what happened. So, yeah, I guess I'll try to push the tractor up, if I even remember how to. Alright, let's give this a shot here. Oh, please. No. Oh, this is really bad. You stupid tractor! I guess I'll try to start it up, and then I'll try to move the forks around. Maybe that'll do it. Alright, let's try this now. Oh, come on! Flip over! Oh my god, you fucking tractor! Are you fucking kidding me? What the hell is this? One of my fuse packets. I need that. Oh, you stupid tractor! I'm gonna get this damn thing out of here. I just bet you I am. You know what I think about you, tractor? That's what I think about you. Son of a bitch! Okay, so, what I'm gonna have to do is... Probably ride the bus home. Um, that's my best bet, honestly, at this point, is either to ride the bus or maybe hitchhike with the guy in the green car. God damn it. This was a shame that this fucking happened, I swear. Okay, so two things of good news. Number one, I'm back here. And number two, the bus has stopped. So I'm going to very, very, very quickly get myself some beer. And, uh, I'm going to ride home on the bus, I guess. Alright, and this time the bus won't fucking kill me, I hope. Okay, well, here we go, I guess. It's the first time I've ever ridden the bus, so this is gonna be kinda interesting. And is that a dead man in the street? It is. Lovely. Well, that used to be me. Not anymore. Hopefully. I guess that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the uh, grumpy bus driver. Well, hopefully we get to that uh, turnoff soon. Actually, wait, is this it up here? Oh, that's a road sign. Well, now, I guess we're going to keep waiting. Okay, well, the bus dropped me off right here, I guess. Thank you very much, bus. Um, 
I wonder if that guy in the green car ever comes around here. Good lord, I hope he does, because this is gonna suck if he does not. Alright, I guess I'll begin walking home. God damn, this is not fun at all. So now we have to ask the question, which fucking way is right? <laughs> like, where the fuck do I go? Do I go this way? Do I go this way? I'm gonna guess I go this way. Let's just hope it's correct. Well, I got some good news. I actually hear the train. So, that means I can follow the uh, train tracks home. Okay, so here's the train tracks. As you can see, there's two different ways to go. Um, however, I think the right way is this way because you can see the lake all the way over there and my house is somewhere to where I'm pointing, I guess. <sighs> so I guess let's try to make it back there. Holy shit, guys, check this out. Oh my god. Look at that. I am back to this part of the road. Now all I have to do is walk a little bit longer home. Jesus Christ. Well, the end of a shitty ass day, but guess where we are. All right, well this really fucking sucks. Um, I spent a long time recording this and I spent a fucking long time trying to drive to town and all that shit. And what did I get out of it? A fucking case of beer that's uh, fucking half empty already, maybe even more. Um, at least I don't need any food because I only have sausages left. Anyway, this was a awful episode, but on the bright side, at least it did not end in me getting ran over by a bus. It ended with me walking pretty much all the way home from the fucking highway. Can't really say which is worse, honestly. For my character, obviously dying is worse, but I mean, walking home sucks ass too. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. That's going to be the end of this episode. I need to fucking get up and stop staring at my goddamn computer screen and stop staring at this game before I punch my monitor off my desk. And um, you guys need to do something better than watching my shitty ass videos. But I do appreciate you watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next Malwart 1 video, which probably will not be this game. But anyway, no matter what it is, I will see you in the next video. Peace.